Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we'll be diving into two serious cyber threats that are becoming more common every day, whaling and spam. We'll break down what they are, how they work, and most importantly, how you can protect yourself from it. First one, whaling. Whaling is a highly targeted form of spear phishing. When attackers focus on high-level individuals like CEO, CFO, or other top executives in the company. Now, why is it called as whaling? Well, whaling attacks are like catching a big fish. They are designed to target high-value individuals. Hackers do an extensive research to craft a message that looks completely legitimate, often using details from social media news coverage or company's information. The idea is to trick a person into revealing sensitive information or transferring money, thinking it's a trusted request. And there's the thing, these top-level individuals are usually aware of these threats. So the hackers need to be an extra sneaky. This means whaling attacks are often much more sophisticated than your typically phishing email. Next, we have spam. We have all dealt with spam emails. They are annoying messages clogging your inbox. But it's not just about annoying ads or offers. Spam can be a vehicle for more serious threats, including virus, trojans, ransomwares. Spam can also include social engineering attacks, where scammers trick you into giving away a personal details like passwords, financial information. These emails can waste your time as you go through them. And on the top of that, they are waste of resources like storage and bandwidth. Spam emails can do much more harm than just cluttering your inbox. They can cause severe damage to your security if you're not careful. So how do you defend against these attacks? For whaling, the best practice is awareness. Be extra cautious if you are a high-level executive or in a position with access to sensitive information. If you receive an email that seems to be too good to be true, don't fall for it. Always verify these requests through a different communication channel like phone calls before taking any action. When it comes to spam, the primary defense is email spam filters. These filters scan incoming emails for known spam patterns and block malicious messages. If you are using a business email account, make sure your IT team is on top of this. And don't forget anti-spam software. It specifically targets and blocks unwanted emails, stopping identity thefts and malware before they even reach your inbox. Both whaling and spam are serious cybersecurity threats. But with the right tools and knowledge, you can protect yourself and your business. Make sure you're using a strong spam filters. If you're in a leadership position, be extra cautious about unexpected emails, especially those requesting sensitive information or money. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe for more such videos. And drop a comment below if you have any questions or if you have experienced any of these threats. Thank you.